Hello and welcome back to What Time, the channel with a focus on Android TV, the Nvidia Shield, TiVo Stream 4K. Today's video I've actually made three or four times already and I just, just couldn't get it right. I was going to start off with something like, uh, imagine an app that's a combination of button mapper plus launch on boot and then you stick a turbo on top to get some added integration with other apps that you already have on board. Nah, just didn't work out like that. So instead, a quick demo of what it can do, particularly when it's used in conjunction with Sideload Channel Launcher 2, which needs to be the very latest version, which is 1.94, for it to work properly, or even at all. You're on the home screen of your Shield or your TiVo Stream 4K, and you want to get to your third-party sideloaded app. So double-click on 3 on your keyboard, or any other, key, any other key that you've configured. So we double-click on a T and get our tools. Now all of these work fine on the home screen, they also work within your launcher screen so you can go the third party apps, I can call those up just by going double click on 3, I can get rid of those, I can double click on T for get tools, or a YouTube for example, if I'm in there, it will work just as well, double click on 3, third party apps links straight through to those apps so you can just choose the app that you want say I want that tool I can go into there okay tools double click on T there they are not only that you can also visit a URL um, double click on 4 and that loads up a website that you've already pre-configured it could be Google whatever so many things you can do with this app and this is just one of them probably my favorite that I'm using that I'm working on at the moment to do a video on to show you how to do this and that's a profile switcher okay so double click on P or any other switch any other key double click and we go through to a profile switch switcher and you can choose which profile you want to then drop into so let's say we want to go to that one we can click on that and Boom, we're straight into that one. Like what you've seen so far? Please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help us. Thank you so much. No more preamble. Let's get stuck in. What time? So we're going to go into the Google Play Store, go to the search section, click on the search section, and I'm going to search for Automate TV. And... There it is, that first one you have there, the first option, Automate TV. And I've already got it installed. You Once installed, let's open up the app. And the first thing you'll be presented with is, please enable Automate, Automate TV within Android settings accessibility. So open Android settings, come down to device preferences, nearly all the way down to accessibility. Click on that. In accessibility, Automate TV currently off click on that enable click on that and okay okay that's done let's back out of there and back out of there and we're into the start screen with this app you add events and if we cl click on that it the first three options there are for buttons or keyboard keys when a button is pressed, when a button is long pressed, or when a button is double pressed. Also, you have when a device is booted. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is when a button is double pressed, and we're going to do uh, key number three on a keyboard or on a remote control. Uh, it can be any key that you that is remappable. Some are not on your remote controls, and some are not on your keyboards. Um, they are hard coded okay so I'm going to go into when button is double pressed click on that and here we have to first of all click the enter to select that click to set the button and then I'm going to click on three on the keyboard to set the button so click to set button and three okay and done next you will be you'll be asked to configure the application or feature that you want to enable for that button press now as with button mapper you can select an application all the applications you have on your device are there let's go back again uh, so no action has been configured let's go back in there and we're going to configure the action again you've got lots of choices here 
all related to side low channel launcher 2 once again i must stress that you need the latest version of side low channel launcher 2 which is 1.94 at the moment or higher so if you're familiar with side low channel launcher 2 you will know that you construct your or configure or build your layouts with tiles so you could open a side low channel launcher 2 tile and that's one of the things we'll come back to that that's because that's what we're going to do in a moment you can open the side low channel 2 app drawer which is the full list of all apps you have on your device that's more than the open Google app drawer which is limited to official Google approved apps mm, not side loaded third party apps you could open notifications you can open recent apps and on the shields you can also open the Nvidia power menu uh, obviously not on the TiVo stream 4k the Mi Cool KM3s the Xiaomi Mi boxes etc open Android settings that's what I normally do take a screenshot I take a lot of screenshots and enable disable key detection so you can totally toggle off this app altogether and use your standard keys I'm going to I'm going to open a side low channel launcher 2 tile and the tile name is called third 3rd okay done and let's quickly test that by double clicking on the 3 key to get third party this is my third party side loaded apps mini app drawer if you like double click and there they are okay back on that now I'm going to quickly run through and install all the others that I did in the demo at the beginning and okay so back again we've configured a whole bunch of events um, there's a couple that I want to point out um, they've got that one which is when home is long pressed Android TV home that's the standard launcher the shield TiVo stream me box standard Android launcher home screen so long press will take you to that I've also done this this one here uh, event number nine when home is pressed it takes you to the side load channel launcher 2 so as my standard home is the side load channel launcher 2 that will take me to there uh, also I've done when devices booted uh, I've got it opens side load channel launcher 2 so effectively this is now default launcher and the home button will always take me to side low channel launcher 2 let's just test that so if I press side low channel launcher 2 to the side low channel launcher channel 2 side low channel launcher 2 and long pressing it will take me to the default launcher stock launcher so go back into there and let's go back into automate and as you can see those are what we have configured for now this is one that uh, I wanted to look at for will open up a URL so in the demo I showed it opening up a website the what time website what time dot net website let's go out of there and I'm going to quickly show you how I've configured that because inside low channel launcher 2 I've got this as a in a hidden row it's in a hidden row so we open up admin and this these ones in red are the hidden rows I've got that particular tile there if I go to edit that you'll see it's called URL at the top and it opens what time net now you could if you wanted to add another URL in there let's put in uh, google.com and done let's go out and come all the way down and save that okay save again come down to the bottom click on there close admin mode and let's go back into automate and you'll see nothing's changed in there it opens the tile called URL but now we've got the tile called URL has two things in it instead of opening directly into the um, website if we click or double click on four it gives you the option so you can choose between whatever you have in configured in there so what I'm saying here is if you only have one option configured in a tile it goes directly to it 
Right, so what are you going to uh, configure with this app? What would you like to set up? How would you like to use it? How are you going to use it? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you very much. Just like the profile switchers in Netflix, Prime Video and Disney Plus, I'm working on a profile switcher for Android TV, which is almost finished. Once done, there will be a detailed how-to video on producing an eight profile profile switcher. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already, ring the bell for notifications, and once again, many thanks for your support. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Doodle Pip!